How are you? It's now the weekend of the Great Northern Bushcraft Conference and there's me, Jai, Michelle and I've got the two dogs in the back in the camber. Uh, it's now the Thursday. We've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Go back on the Monday. Um, going to be about 250 plus people going down there. So it should be a great weekend. Weather looks absolutely perfect. Uh, forecast is total glorious sunshine. So it should be a good weekend. Total chillax. Uh, really looking forward to it. Get to meet some old friends. Um, it's one of the places I do enjoy going every year because it gets there's one big meet and it's the ideal meet of all the YouTubers and people who's in this community. So anyway, I'm waffling already and it's only the start of the video. So I'll bring you back once we're all set up. Um, see you in a bit, people. See you in a bit. Make the stars look like they're not shining Her hair, her hair falls perfectly without her trying She's so beautiful And I tell her every day Yeah, I know, I know When I compliment her, she won't believe me And it's so, it's so sad to think that she don't see what I see But every time she asks me, do I look okay? I say Right, we're here Probably gonna get done for copyright. Got all the kids here. Yeah. Oi, oi. Right, son, get up your phone. I wanted the kids. Eh? I wanted the kids. Yeah, I wanted the kids, pet, I? Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks, pal. Gaz is there, setting up. He's got his new bell tent. 4x4 bell tent, Gaz, isn't it? Yeah. Happy with it, mate? Oh, yeah. As long as. All the half happy, John. That's all. That's what it's all about. Long as, long as Kel's happy. Are you happy, Kel? Yeah, I'm happy. Well, we'll be when I've got drinks in hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's guys are set up. You've all seen that before. Oh, yeah. Sister to my uh, truck. It's mine set up there. And this is the view you've got. This is just the first day. This is the Thursday afternoon. People are just turning up. Give you a quick look round. The Orvik Outdoors, Kev. All the Welsh lads down there, top men. And that's the view, look at that. Look at that. This is definitely where it's at. Happy pet? Yeah, I've got me beer. Chilling out now. Happy Arch? Got the dogs here. Happy <laughs> Kev's Got my dogs here in the shade there. They're just sitting chilling out. It's hot. <laughs> there we're going. Let's give you a quick look around. Some more around here. Everyone's here. Everyone's turning up. First day. That's where it's at. Guys, is getting the water on. Guys, put that little one down. Put the little one in there. See that little grill? It'll go clo it'll be closer so you'll get it caught it quicker. Stevie. Little Stevie. Big Stevie. Bigger Stevie. Three Stevies. Happy dears. Just sitting chilling. Like a villain. That's what I mean. Because it's hiding the noodles on. Archie's there, chilling out with his northeast bushcraft top on. Because <coughs> look, cause look, Archie. AJ. Anthony Joshua, as I stand for. No. No? Come here, because look at the little emblem. Look. 
Well, like that, son. No, back it's North East Bush. North East Bush, that what it stands for, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's better. Never eat blood. Oh, it's in the car. Elephants Let's go and have a little walk up by where we're just sitting, chilling. Everyone's the comes alive. You've been saying you're going to get your video going for ages. Rich torn apart and all the boys over there, just tipped up, set up, just having a nice chill. Day two at Great Northern Bushcraft Conference. We've had shit weather, so everyone's just on the campfires, chilling out. But now we're on a day two. Um, so it's been a bit of a shit day today, so I haven't done no video. We've all been in the camper vans and around each other's tents, just sort of hiding away from the weather. But now it's coming foggy, and we're just sitting out having a few beers tonight. So give you a look around. Jai, you're teasing him with a dog, son. With a ball. Ball daft. Still alright, mate, isn't it? The weather doesn't put us off, does it? We are. We are North East Bushcraft. Two rights we are. Get on. Even the flags see it, look. Starting to fill up. The weather hasn't put everyone off. We're just chilling out. A few beers, like I say. So I haven't done no recording today, it's just been a total chill. Um, getting away from the weather. It's just sitting around now, got the fire going, a few beers. We'll probably bring you back tomorrow. I think we're going to the bushcraft show tomorrow, so bring us back tomorrow, all right? See you later. The plastic box off, yep. <laughs> Plastic. Like That's lovely, that. This is where it's at, lads. One well, of the Stephen Gunn gets here. Bushcraft show tomorrow, boys. Thing. So you can have a try, mate. Well, my gun's Sunday yet. <laughs> it's wedged in between two boxes. Is that Linda's farm one, is it? Right, can you I? It's lovely, isn't it? It goes down lovely. Lovely on the palate. That's it. Go on, have a little sip a little tip more. I just got a little taste there, I. Give him a go, that one. Have a go, mate. There you go. Yes, sir. Uh, wild damson gin. Oh, I'm not a fan of gin. Oh. Cheers. Oh, you like that? Cheers. Nice Cheers, pal. Have a try. Right. Cheers, mate. Much appreciated. Uh, damson gin. Bottoms up. Mm. Get up. Get up. Good gin. I know it's too funny. That does go down like pop, doesn't it? That's nice. Take a very mild ginger wine, isn't it? Ah, it's like lovely. That. It catches up with you. Oh, I'll just try it. Yes. Did you, have a, did you have a go of the mead, no? The mead, I had a really bad night on mead. Did you? I'll never ever do that again. That holy you know, like sometimes... Aye. I shouldn't do it again. Oh, it's not nice. I'm not taking that. Did you make that yourself? No, I. Did you, Stevie? <laughs> got it in a nice bottle as well. Gin bottle? Aye. Bombay. I've got fucking gin bottles now. I've got a full of gin bottles. <laughs> oh, you've lost that one, I think. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Just having a few few bevies on the fire as you do. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Bottoms up. Michelle. Randy. I've had it before. Had it yesterday. Did you? Nice. Do you like it? I get another one today then. Pass it round. We get it round, the lads and lasses. And nice, nice that, isn't it? Ice sweet drinks, isn't it? Lovely that. That mead's lovely, isn't it? 
Bombay. 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 Yeah, Ben I belt you. Not bad, that for Bombay. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably not Bombay in there. I've mixed all the bottles because yeah. I don't so so what is jars it? and gets made and puts back the bottles in. What is it again? Yeah, wild damsel gym. Wild damsel gym. Camera up one, I'll get my camera on. Dimsel. How, <laughs> how much you had to drink? You can if you wild, actually, Ben. Wild Damsel Jim. Yeah. Oh. I'll be fucked. I'll be in bed by the time Beatty gets here. See you later. Stay Turn Cornish. Around. Isn't that right, Paul? Keep it Cornish. Keep it Cornish. Just having a walk around the stalls. Bringing by sales. So I'll just take you along. I've not done much video on you now. Hardly any. So I'll do a little bit. Get it walked in the video. See you in a bit, though, right? See you later, mate. Are we? All right. Can the bar be packed, have you? I've got a few bits down there. Right, thanks for that, bud. Cheers. That's just a little key ring, man. You should go on your knife, put it on your knife. Yeah, a little lanyard, you can put it on the handle of your knife if you want. Tell your dad to get you one, Archie. Which one's your favourite? Eh? Got that, got that for freebie. Didn't tell his missus though. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I won't, mate. Honest, honest. <laughs> oh, he's happy. <laughs> happy with that, son? Yeah. That's the Roberts, my blade, but Robert yeah. did the grinding and the handling and made the sheath. It's the only one will ever be double logoed. Oh, it's a double logo, so it's got yeah, yours on. Roberts. Roberts there. Yeah. And then MP on the back. Brilliant, mate. Hi, brilliant. Yeah. Look, look at that. One. Another level in it. That's yeah, little. gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Got some absolutely awesome knives here. Another leather work, man. Look at that. Look what if that end was there, look at that. Gaz. Gaz all. Hello, son. Hello, pet. What's the price on them? Two, four, five, and two thirty. Yeah. That's them. Aye. Yeah. And what was that one then? That special one? Not for sale, I'm afraid. <laughs> the special one, isn't it? Well, yeah. It's, um, done a few, done a couple of things together now, yeah. so yeah. Possible's pouch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put your tinder in and that. You can just use it for anything. Yeah, yeah. Foraging bag. Foraging bag. I'm gonna have it. Go on, guys. Spend some money, son. Get one of them big knives, and I'll. Not for sale. No, the big one is the, the big handled one. What one? That'll go nice on your belt, that one. Is. Yeah. How much? Ten pound. I'll take that. Oh, I'm gonna get this on video. Guys, is getting his wallet. Out. I need a bit of cash I have, and on my cards, aren't I? It's a special, it's got two names on it, eh? Try it's not for sale. I'm happy if you're happy. It's something you mean. Just fit your hand all right, guys. I feel like doing sick and back in a bit and we'll work out a price. Do you like it? <laughs> well, that's a one-off, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the only one in existence that both of us have worked yeah. yeah. 
He's done um, the knife, I made the knife, you did the sheath for his bicky, didn't we? Yeah. So that is. Yeah. That's, uh, to be honest, that, the, sh the sheath I'll probably leave to keep the knife in. Yeah. Out in the woods, I probably want to have another. Have make just a, yeah, yeah. just a field one, you know, yeah, yeah. plain sheath for it. Yeah. But I'll, we'll come back and have a good uh, discussion with well, you. Spot on. Season a bit, lads, right? Spot on. What's up? It's good time though, isn't it? Spent them watching covers with your ass, isn't it? Oh Christ, I guess. <laughs> the best mate. So, like, did you build it yourself? Yeah. A really corn box, aye? Yeah. It's nice. Oh, it's good out. Oh, I've got sheets in it, so don't, don't be in the skip in that van. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But it's ideal to work with, and all yeah, it's yeah, nice to it. work with. Yeah. And it all comes out. Yeah. It's commercial anyway, I can turn it back into the van just like that. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant, mate. You've done a good job with this, Cheers, haven't mate. you? Thanks a lot. He's selling drills and everything, Foxy. He'll sell out, won't he? Sell out, ye Foxy. What's drills got to do with this, like? <laughs> that up. <laughs> Don't do DIY me. How last does it? Whoa, that's a piece of work, isn't it? Nice size for you, isn't it? Lovely size, isn't it? Yeah. Nice out, Paul. Brilliant. I'll look after that, mate. Careful, mate. Because the bite. Yeah, I've, been, I've been bit a few times, but all right. You've got 19 points. <laughs> Ten a change, wasn't it? Ten a one it? It was a five, still. <laughs> <laughs> Sporting skills, a crap, Jay. There you go. Cheers, mate. Spot on. Thank you very much. Happy with that, son? Are you going to put it on him now, are you? There you go, and you can take that other one off. Not that we need any leaders, like, but he wanted one, so. You happy, son? Mark? What? How we doing? Oh, we're alright, I saw you. Hey, cheers, matey. <laughs> Andy, how we doing, mate? You good? Too bad, mate. Yeah. Good, mate. Yeah. Back again, eh? Alright. Alright, buddy. Can I get your cash out? You know what it is? I've got, I've got a... Got me uh, got one of these off you. I've got the key ring off you. I got one of, did I get one of them off? Did I get a... I got, I got a couple, I bought a few things off them. Yeah, I think, I think you've had a... Yeah, you had a few bits and bobs. Yeah. Oh, mate, off, aye. That's... In a giveaway, I think. There's your key rings. Oh, gee, lad. <laughs> You're a little spender, Archie. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? We're good. We're good, mate. How's you? You alright to get video, are you? Yeah. yeah. Fine. It's all your handiwork? It is, bud. Yeah. We had a little look the other day, didn't we? I was talking to you last year. You were saying you were going to send me a picture of your dog. Oh, were you doing the... Um, the, the woodwork? Yeah, the swords and, right. and the gun stocks, do you remember? Do you know what, though, mate? It's, it was just money, I think, yeah, you know, yeah, I think yeah. that's what it was, you know, but I remember talking to you, and do you know what it is, I lost your card, you? that was yeah. another thing as well, I, and it was, because you were going to do a, um, oh, that's was it a gun, a chip, like a little chip car, oh, no, it wasn't, it was going to be a carving for him, if, his, if, his, if the dog were lost, right, that's, that's right. right, yes, that's I, right. Yeah, that's right. he was going to do a carving chase for you, you know, chase one, out, out of wood, he's grown since last year, he has, hasn't he, he's now. lived in a grow bag, he's three foot tall, lived in a, you feeding him, Aye. Keep that jar, you right? Remind us of when I get home, okay? To see the man about a dog. A dog, alright? Yeah. <laughs> <A dog. laughs> I forgot about that, mate. I've yeah. actually forgot about it. When you wax them. Yeah. 
Are we in all right, mate? Top marks, mate. Top marks. Enjoying it? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> Good crack, isn't it? He's going to buy this when he gets his money out. Until our last, though. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll not put it up on their YouTube, honestly, mate. <laughs> not that I'll last a watch. What price are those, isn't it? 30 quid. Why couldn't that be told? That's your discount. Why <laughs> <laughs> couldn't that be told? The, the, the really nice trousers. Oh, way out. If I had it been a little bit thinner, I would have kept it there. You'll just get a bit. Middle age catches up with you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, here's a quick look round. This is the biggest I've been. It's got a packing smoke in it, which is gone. I'm not This is the Musses' uh, new toy. Here's a quick look at this. How the other half live. You liking that muss on you? I'm not putting your t-shirt on, it's already been on once. You alright sweetheart? You chilling like a villain? Got a few bits and bobs for sale with sellers down there, new one's been down. Unsociable buggers. And there's the muss's new toy. Bought it second hand like, but uh, Well, you can't buy new, can you? I plan on uh, living in it. Why not? Why not mate? If you can do it, go and enjoy it. Huh? Call me uh, Gypsy the Muss. Gypsy the Muss. Huh? Traveller. Lovely mate. I'll just have a little look inside, is that alright? It's a mess mine. But... Eh, it's an e-bother. Check this pan out. You've right. seen this first, here. Alright. See how small it is, shall I? Ideal for the camera. Where'd you get that from, Moss? This is from Morrison's. Right. You've seen Any it good? here first. Any Remember good though? That? It's brilliant. Wait, see that. Lovely bait and sandwich out of that. Lovely, mate. Lovely. What else have we got here? <laughs> Again, you're happy with your new camera, like, aren't you? Look at your smile on your face, mate. Is it? Eh? I'm set. Because what was in there was, put, was through that way, Moss? Is it just a cupboard through there? Just the bathroom, aye? Ah, that's bathroom, it. cupboard. That's your wardrobe there. Yeah. Go on, give us a little quick, quick tag through it then. Oh, it's your bathroom there. Yeah. You've got your shower, toilet. Full wardrobe here. Yeah. Obviously bunk beds, but you can flick these these wood panels. I flip up. Yeah. Mattress goes on the other side, and that becomes a full garage underneath there. So from there, right to the bottom. Put your all your stuff in. Mhm. Mm I do. Definitely living. Let's watch your fridge. Because look at the size of your fridge. Fridge is a clip on the bottom. The handle there. Oh, so, oh, you got the brandy and coke, kid. Yeah. Have you got any food in there? Is it just all no, drink? There's no food in there. <laughs> <laughs> We're done a deep food. Freezer and all, like, mate, aye? Freezer, yeah. Oh, lovely. Because there's brown eels in there. Cool your buttons, that's it. What else do you need? Oven. It's only a yeah. small grill, that's only problem. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'll put probably... in the microwave or not? No, I'll probably yeah. take that out and put a, just a, like, a small oven yeah. in. Yeah. That's what I think I'll do. Aye, aye. aye. And then your bed up there? Bed up there. That's, the, that's where the love making happens. That's where the, all the love happens, eh? Look at the size of this one. Tell you what I'll do. Do, oh, do, I, do I just pull that back? There you go. The size of that, I mean. It's massive. It's about a double and a bit, isn't it? Aye. Then this just lifts up. Or do you just fold back? It just lifts up, aye. Aye. Then through here. You've got your transit. Four transit, 15 plate. Nice, mate. Interior. Do you know the only, thing it's, the only thing I think it's lagging is that swivel seats, but there again, you've got that much space in here, you don't really need them, right, do you? Aye. And that just folds up, doesn't it? That does, I right. Tap the seats off and that just pushes up. Yeah. So give you a bit of headroom. Aye, and the This converts really... into like, it's like a kid's bed. I've got, yeah. I've got the dog's thing on there. And obviously this one goes into another double. It's a big double and all, isn't it? Aye. Mint, mate. Absolutely lovely. How do the other half live? That's it. Just to remind you that there's no women allowed up there. Good lad. Just, just their men, eh? You women are go. gone. <laughs> women are gone. Aye. <laughs> The man's camera van. Yes. This is the man camera. <laughs> you know where. He won the lottery and didn't even give me anything. Shank. You're not supposed to be telling people <laughs> what I've done, man. <laughs> lovely, mate. Lovely. Spot on. Bang on, mate. Hit the flies out. Oh, Kelly. You enjoying it, love? You love your little set. My eyes. I'll, I'll turn this off and I'll come for a bit of pie. I don't use them. I did use that, that was first knife I bought. And that's all on tool steel, and that's like uh, a survival bushcraft knife. 
but because Sorry. I've got a tendency just to walk off the track into rivers and see, I needed something same as that, Excuse but in stainless steel, which is that one. So it's exactly the same knife in stainless. Beautiful. And because I knew I was going to damage that because I climb in caves and climb rock faces and stuff, I needed something else that I could use which I weren't going to destroy. And it's there. Yep, yeah, I've got the smaller one. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've got there. So if I'm going out now doing one of my little adventures. That's the one I've got, mate. I'll take that and that because that's stainless steel. I saw one tool steel, but I can keep control of that, making sure it don't get eroded. But I'll just hang that around my neck as you do. And I can use that as a fire starter, I suppose, because that's got a really slight bevel on. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, so that's me. So obviously, I've got my fire steel. Right. And I've got that, and I've got that. So they're, they're the ones that I'll be using more on the uh, videos now. Well, you know, done, done them, don't you? The, one, the bloke you've just bought, yeah. I know. M3. Yeah. Have a feeling? Have a. Sorry? Give me a little feel of them, because yeah, he's got big hands. He's... Oh, like he's got I've got big hands. So yeah, they're perfect. So you, have you not got one with the red and white, the red, like the red? I've there? got, I've got some of that in the house to to make some yeah, pet. Yeah. I that I that one's a slightly one. smaller. Huh? Oh, I know about that. Yeah. I'm gonna get battered my eyes. But that one, stainless steel and all. But I, I did the same thing with that. Can you that end? Yeah. Second time I've done it. I'm batting hell out of them. Pop an hammer them. I've done a video where I'm proper. I've got a. A mallet, a hardwood mallet, and I'm battening it across across a piece of hardwood against uh, grain. That hard, it smashed mallet to pieces, but it went through it. Mhm. Mm the quality, them. They're lovely, aren't they? Beautiful knives, aren't they? Ah, uh, absolutely stunning. And then there's axe. And that's what we're saying in the corner over there, right? You break that down into hourly rates. Yeah. And the, the quality. Oh, the, yeah. It's... Well, I know how long it took John nice. when he was doing this. Yeah. That's all on tool steel, but the old the, the tool steel that's the really That's beautiful that's that. spring steel and it's eight milli uh, and it's spring steel in there, it's bolted all the way through and it's also epoxy resin done. Uh, and it's ridiculously sharp. I'm always scared when people pick it up because it's so sharp. I've got hairs all over it when I've just been shaving my hands with it. <laughs> and again, that's that's my sort of crappy it's a fan gear. If if everything were pear shaped, that would go on my on my belt with that. So, we'll go, we'll go yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, the proper thing, you get all the pear shapes. That's what they're going with me, that's what it is, it's yeah, an investment. I appreciate you bringing them over, mate, they're lovely, 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 lovely knives. Lovely. And do you know what it is? I'd be proud to show them off as well, mate, exactly what you're doing now. It's just, it's they're lovely. just to show what it can do. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's all information about knives, you know, what what is made, them out of, what different kinds of steel, everything. I don't know, we might end up filling the field one year and set fire to Edel, I know, mate. <laughs> um, it's a free prize draw. The guys that have donated these, um, they've done it on their own free will. I didn't set it up, nobody asked them. It was just something that the guys that make their own stuff in the garages at home, wherever, or they're sponsored by somebody, they've said, let's set it up and run it. So that's what we've done. And the prizes, we're gonna run them from what we think is not, the, not not a bad prize, but in value, so that the, the best prize is something that's worth, I mean, they're all worth having, but that's what we've done. In, for the 15th prize, it's the uh, Eco Fuel. Um, then we've got the, the knife strop, a water bottle, a combat jacket, a fire steel, a hip flask, Generation game. <laughs> Another fire steel. I'll never remember all this. Um, <laughs> Everyone, John. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the blown, blown. Right, we're going to head down to the village. We're doing a bit of. Geocaching with the kids. A few pub stops in the way as you do. That's the plan. So we've got the geocache app on the phone and we're gonna go and find some uh see if we can find some little prizes for the kids and then swap put some prizes in. That's the plan. So bear with us and I'll bring you back in a bit. And Archie, show us what you found, mate. Just one snatch. In a plastic bag. It's in a plastic 
<laughs> Can you not put a stick in there? Scoop it out. Take a hold of that letter. Clue. You've got to read it. What you got in there, Archie? Just right, so you're putting a penny in, what you're going to take out? Oh, pence in there. So, what are you going to take out, Archie? What are you going to put in? Put in, uh, sorry. Uh, I think Jesse's what? got a pen. Oh, yeah. I put back in. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your gifts, Michelle? Yeah. Where's the gifts, Michelle? Yeah. You're going to put a pen in? <laughs> put a pen in then, yeah. And what does that say? Does that say anything? Come on, what's that? Oh, you've just got to put your name on, I think, look. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. I think you've got a... <coughs> oh, the book's full, Archie. There's a little book. Oh, I'll just tell you, you put your little... Name on put, it. You put your, the date and your name on Yeah. There. And there's a pen, that's what the pen's for. Yep. Cut me in, I'll do it for you. Right on the back of your phone, use your phone as a block. Hold that. Good lad. And there's another list of them there, oh, so oh, put oh, that in. Oh, oh, there's no coordinates and that I had for them. Yeah, yeah, but we're just going off a... Uh, found it straight away, like there. It's just oh, good. there's a piece of beef. <laughs> Thought it was a what? Piece of beef because of the beef. Right, what's the date? Um, it's the... Uh, 26th. Twenty-six. Uh, and I'll put what's the Northeast Bushcraft. Put on them. Um, put on. Uh, NEBC. Aye, NEBC. Kids of NEBC. Kids of. Kids of. I'll just put NEBC kids. Yay! <laughs> so you put that back in, and I'll turn you put. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, he's going to take a penny. Uh, that's a penny, that's a good look penny, Archie. What do I do with this? Just stick it, right. stick it all in the pit in there. In that. Yeah. Alright, aye. Right, thanks all. Have we got a pen to put in? There's a penny in there. No, he's put a pen in. Well, put a little gift in, because you put the pen in, because that's there isn't a pen there, there should be a pen. There's a penny in there. That's it. Pink pen's in the bottom. Yeah. All right, well, wait, there's Just two pens in a thingy. Have we got, got loads of pens. See, we'll not get, we'll not get them in. Oh, look, we'll watch the go on there. Oh, what's that, Archie? Some stickers on the top. Some stickers in. That'll not go in. Right, go keep that for the next. There's something else small. Oh, what are you doing? You're at the top. Oh, yeah. This geocaching's hard work, mind I'm not going to need a pint. <laughs> on the way down. <laughs> just found like refreshments. Pub after these. Are you putting it back, Archie? And the rock back in front of it. Well done, mate. You found the first one. Yay, yay! <laughs> what are doing, lads? Oh, no. Stevie, Stevie. Oi, oi. Roll up. Cheers, mate. Cheers, lads. Cheers, lads. Oi, oi. Cheers, boys. Hey, let the, let, let the drinking begin. This is where it's at. Get out and do a bit of drinking, and he deal. You know it makes sense. <laughs> right, we've been geocaching. We've been to the nag's head. And now we're back at the fire, sitting having a chill. Look at that view, people. Look at that view. Lovely. Beatsy lad, what you got there? Coca Cola? Metaxa. Metaxa. Oh, is it a brandy maker, is it? Metaxa brandy. You your dog spilled a glass. The ground took one. Got one for the team, didn't it? Yeah, right, brother. Just getting, get Just getting the barbecue on. We've got the barbecue going. We've got everyone sitting, chilling around again. We've got heat all around us. Heat all around us. We've got Michelle. We've got Jai there. Oh, son. Smile. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Stevie, lad. Stevie. 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 Oi, oi. 
Oh, oh, <laughs> Took ages. Well, Neil there for the Mac and Wanderers. Oh, you should be here. Come here next year, lads. Yeah, we'll give you a shout. Where's Daz? Save, 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 because I tell you what, some of the kit here that these lads perform and put out on is absolutely breathtaking. It's fucking mortal, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Wes, Crash, Daz D, Daz D. Oh, we've got the keys over there, Wes. Uh, cover deals, the two brothers, respect lads. We've got Jimmy, Lund, Lundy. We've got, uh, oh, we've got the must there. He's not part of the Bo Camp Bob group. The Who else we got in the car? We'll have a shout out with the Camp Bob. Camp Bob squad. Camp Bob squad. We've Cheers. Got, You've missed Mark a crack on weekend. Rothby. Mark Rothby, lovely, lovely man. Yeah, um, we've got the Coverdales. We've got Wes and Daz. We've got Sparrow, the Woodsman. Yep, Sparrow. Yeah, you're your Sparrow. Your best pal, Sparrow, man. We've got, uh, we've got uh, Jimmy Lord Larson. Yep. Um, look at this. We've got even got a train going by, man. Look at this. It's the kind of views we've got, man, lads. Just. You didn't say that because you're not tomorrow morning and we want a bit of a lie in. Yeah, no, but we still want a bit of a lie in. Seven o'clock, get up at seven, leave here about nine, get over there for ten. You reckon? I'm coming to shake your car, I'm going to shake your camera. We are going to rock it. Aye. We're going to rock it till the wheels fall off. Look at that, man. Lovely. Yeah, we've got a few coming next year to see. Archie's had a few toys today, haven't you, Archie? You bought a bit of. Bit of a uh, few knives and that with your gear, haven't you? You got to come and show us it, Archie. Come and show us your knife, son. Good look, walk kid. Good look, mate. On the other side. Oh, so you can put it on your belt. Like on. Mint man, he's such a cutie, any people. He's gonna be a little YouTube star, this man. <laughs> eh, little Archie. All you ladies watching Archie's age, stay away, cause his ma's here. <laughs> <laughs> what a little cutie he is. It's a little belter, Archie, isn't it? What else did you buy today? Uh, your bracelet. Got loads of key rings on your wallet, didn't you? Got a, got a few given. As got a few given, didn't you? you got a few given. Where's your hat, Archie? You did? I did though. You did? Oh, you want that hat on or not? Get that, get, hat, get that hat on. Put I, the hat on. I don't have a hat. There it is, there, man. Oh, that hat. Put it on. Come and right, so what we've got, Archie? Can't feel my legs. We've got a hat. But just can't feel my legs. Yeah, what a lovely man, wasn't he? Yeah, it was his YouTube channel. Yeah, and what a lovely man. <laughs> wasn't he? Give you the hat and set a lot in. What else you get, Arch? Go on, go and check out. Go and check out. Comp. Camp, can't feel your legs. What a lovely man. What a lovely pleasure it was meeting you, mate. The table oh, guy, yeah. the lovely. <laughs> what you got there, Arch? Give us a look. It's a tighter bracelet, and I've got the card for one of them as well. All right, you go and get some more stuff. He's going to get some more stuff. <coughs> Stay cold, Stevie. Warm, new. Warm, he's got more skin than ever. I can feel the heat off it. The... Yo, shit, bus. look at that. There's the Geordie Bushcrafter. <laughs> There's the Magnum Bushcrafter. Look at that. What's going on? What's going on, Mus? <laughs> oh, give us a look, mate. So, so you've got, got the... that, which is almost... Is it the same as yours? No, it's great northern bushcraft. Yeah, yeah, that's the same as my, that's the same as my that's key, the son. the same as John's key ring. Yep. Yeah. I got that, and it's sort of like a dragonfly. Yeah, and you, I forgot who that man was. He made knives, didn't he? And he gave yeah. you, he gave you it, mate, didn't he? Yeah, and he gave us, he gave us that one for free as well, but oh. a different one. So you're going to say thank, thank you on the video to him? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. And, and what I else? the card for Oh, the for one. the leather work. Yeah, that's the one that I got the bracelet off. Oh, is that the man who got the, oh, so, so the hand. bracelet you've just showed us there is the one, that it's that, that's who made it, half yeah. goat leather work, yeah? So that's the card. Oh, <laughs> Have you had a nice day, Archie? And you and then where, where else you been? You've been geocaching as well, haven't you? Yeah. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. You kept trying to pinch your sister's yeah. geocache, didn't you? It was her turn and Archie wanted to get it first, didn't you, Archie? Yeah, yeah. but I, I did move the rock in front of me. You did, my, you did, son, you did. 
Yeah, of course it's really that quality there, isn't it? <laughs> quality what? Nice, that's well cooked, isn't it? What's that? The food? No, mate, it's, 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 it's Nando's it's chicken, this bad boy, you're not like this. I can't help it, but it looks nice. I've seen a few going round here, they're like burned and that. That looks quality, that, like it's under control. Yeah, because I'm cooking the bastards. Stop swearing, man. Stop swearing. My vegan, my vegan, vegan, my vegan burgers are a mess. It's a bit like it's a bit like the muscle's fire. <laughs> a mess. Look, we've got a we've got a flame. We've got a flame. <laughs> See if I, oh, you got oh no. Ah, I'm getting the warm Some guys up here, but we're trying to get the fire going, and it won't go. So I just went down and went, and it went. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad breath for you. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic, mate. It's all like methane. <laughs> methane burns. <laughs> I'm 95 percent carbohydrate. You see. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Is there, is there many fires going? Is everyone just chilling out now, are there? Yeah, it's nice. It is nice. It's yeah, lovely, isn't it? I think early on, people were a little bit rigid, weren't they? Aye. Just getting into it, but yeah. the beer starts flowing. Oh, it's on. How many you had? Mum. I mean, this is before fourth one. It's going to get messy after it's I've got, had that fall, oh then I've been round everybody so we've been out knocking shorts out. <laughs> You haven't got no tent or shelter? I haven't seen car. Oh, you didn't buy the, you didn't buy the, um, you didn't buy the, did you not buy his tent then? Yeah, I got it, yeah. I bought it, I bought, I'm not going to be a, it's only a bivy bag, what time I've done with this, I'm going to be able to put that up. <laughs> I've, been, I've, I've been looking if I can roll myself up in my own hood. As you can see, the beers are flowing, the barbecue's on. Moss's fire's eventually got going. So go on there, Moss, it's going there, mate. With everyone sitting having a drink and a beer. <laughs> Archie's the fire king, he's looking after all the fires. You got the Moss's fire going, didn't you, Archie? Yeah. Did, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> He's just on big logs on him. The chase is there. I'll just, I'll just show them this. This is my salad. Uh, boots. And there's a lovely salad. Look, we've got feta cheese. I'll just have a little bit of that feta cheese, babe, because you can't beat it. Mmm. Lovely. So we've got a nice salad with a chicken. Nando's chicken. Good find me, brother. Oh, 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 shit, mm. oh, I did. I, I. <laughs> Mate, I'm trying to cut it out, you know. I know. Trying to cut it out, I am. Because you know, when you're pissed, you swear a lot, don't you? And I try and cut it out, like. But yeah, I've got my brother cooking the chicken. Doing a good job, mate. Mother's fire's going. My fire's going. Ian's just on his fourth can. Good man. Right, we'll probably bring it back in the morning because it's going to get messy. Ian said it's going to get messy, it's going to get messy. It's all getting messy. <laughs> Scott, you alright mate? Where is that? So it's not Scott boy, you know the dance. See his fault. Look, I'm going to uh, end that and I'm going to put me... Uh, <laughs> Got a bit of Michael Jackson in here tonight. Up against the camper van. Give it the big light, Moss. Give it the light, Moss. Come on, Moss. There we go. Did you hear that? Ha ha! Bit of Michael in here deal. Project the screen up against the camper van. Put it back on. Beauty the Queen and the Moon is singer. We've got Kev dancing there. Get the light on, Kev. No, Get the light on. I don't dance. I'm, I'm shy, me. <laughs> In around. Go on, Kev, lad. I don't do it. I'm shy. I'm nervous. <laughs> when the cameras are on, I'm all shy. <laughs> In around. What a bella. Woo! This is where it's at, people. If you haven't come to E-Deal, get yourselves back. <laughs> This is it. Hey, that's awesome, little bit of kit that. Not many camera vans got that muscle there. There's only one camera van got a projector screen on the side of it. I bought the stuff like. Lily's not dancing, no. Lily, what you're not dancing for? Is that, is that the meat? Is that the. 
Up my love. <laughs> hey, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, the drinks are flown, the party's on, and we're gonna head off. We're gonna head off. That's what we're gonna do. We'll leave it till tomorrow. See you in the morning, people. So see you later, Kev. See you later, Kev. <laughs> Griddle flap plate on the side. Right. Them. Yeah, on there. You got Do yes. Hey. You like it? You like it? Guess which team I like. Do you say Sunderland? <laughs> no, That's all right then. It's all right then. Although I was very pleased when Sunderland beat Leeds in the cup. Right? Yeah. Mhm. Mm I was also pleased when Sunderland went down to play Accurate and Stanley as well. <laughs> this is our kind of shopping, guys, isn't it? This is our kind of shopping. We do plenty of shopping with the women. We've got to go to the Metro Centre with these, so they've got to come around the Bushcraft Show with us, don't they, Pet? Do you not mind? Good luck. 8,000 grit, so we've dumped even more. Yeah, yeah. This is an 8,000 grit honing paste on a strop. Where the microchips are in there, it will lift the nap of the leather and I'll get a contrast because this is nice and dark. So as I move the blade along, it will lift the nap and it'll look like a ploughed field from about a thousand foot looking down at it. As I move the blade along and that part of the blade becomes polished, it will leave a shiny strop. So I can move to the next section of the blade and every time the strop becomes shiny, I move to the next part of the blade because I know that bit's been polished. So the whole of that side of the blade is polished. Do the opposite side and repeat. So the whole of that side's polished. Check that both sides are polished. So all I do now is hone strop it. It's simply six strokes that way. Six strokes the other. Six alternates. Now when I'm doing my leather work, I will sharpen my knives once a month on the stone, but every five minutes of use or so, I will hone strop. Give it a strop. Okay. And when you cut, it just starts to lose that razor edge. It's time to hone strop. And then you just test it, see if it's left any scratches, and polish the scratches out, and then six, six, and six. And then it will be razor sharp. Okay. It's better than using your arm, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to use them. Yeah, I know, I remember you doing it. And then, and then, then I lost you, them. And then you ran out. Yeah, so I started pulling my trousers up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. There should be a pen on the um, high drawer table. Put that in is it? Hi. Mm -hmm. Set for hours. But you can when you're here for the weekend, can you? For you for the day. It's, uh... Start off with one of the rings on your belt. Understanding the evolution of your axe. 
Have a mealworm look. Okay. There you go. Nice. They all nice. Come here, watch. Oh. Ready? So there we go. Ready, Archie? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. Honestly, they're nice. Yeah. 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 Well done, mate. Good lad. Yes, five. Five. <laughs> five. Well done, mate. Buffalo worm. Well done, mate. Proud of you. When there's two of you, makes it a bit easier. What I can do is I can help by just hold the end of the bow. I won't be proud. I can hold the end of the bow. Just going up. Because if you're doing ten It is when you've got one that big. <laughs> it's my baby. Yeah, it's a belt. But yeah, that's the main difference between Eastern axes and Western axes. God has a great idea to buy your kill. <laughs> Cheers, mate. First knife you're gonna build. Knife for Archie. That's it. For that, did. I think you'll do all right, guys. Yeah. As long as you get your heat treat right, that's all you need to do. Yeah. There's plenty of information you can download off of YouTube. And yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I've watched a few of them, mate. To be honest, that's what's inspired yeah. us to do it. There you go. And also, John doing one. Yeah. Mate, it's been a pleasure again to meet you. Yeah. All the best. Okay. Yeah. See you. Yeah. See you later, yeah. mate. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Ta -da, pal. Bye -bye. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Ta-da, now. What are you doing there, Archie? I'm making my little... name on a thing. You doing what, mate? I'm making my name on a oh, key ring. Amazing. Embossing your name. Like yeah, and then after like I'm going to do... It looks like a G, doesn't it, but it's just T. What do you got on, Gaz? Dad, after I'm going to... Well, I've only got me kilt on. <laughs> John's couldn't do no. Oh, oh. I've done it. <laughs> I know, but it does let the wind blow. Oh. Yeah. Hey, it is awesome. There's no sweat down there now. That's it, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. You got it, Dad? Why do they have to wet them? Let's have a look. Must be that way. Do you want to kneel on this, Archie, so you don't get wet? Go on then. Go on then, Arch. But you can't hit your dad's hand. Go on, him, son. That's not nice. Try not to. I know you're not. That was a better one, huh? Oh, it's a good one. Brilliant, mate. What's next? 
Why? Can't you say? Oh, you can't. Sorry, there's Ben and Lois. Ben and Lois. Ben and Lois. I think they're too big. No, they're beautiful. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is where your dad lives. Mm-hmm. This is where all my dad's lives are from. Hiya. Hiya. Hi. Hiya. Hi. 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 Are you having a good day? Lovely, yeah. Yeah, are you? Yeah, very good. Good. Is that the one you got there? Guys. <laughs> Listen. Mm-hmm. That's magnetic. <laughs> It's like stepping out with the magnets coming in here, isn't it? It's just like a lovely quiet noise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Love them. They are beautiful. Mm -hmm. She's just going to fill his wallet with cards from everybody. Oh, no, isn't he? <laughs> Does. That would be really cool. I Really primitive, isn't it? Yeah. Really primitive. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Trying to do you. Yeah. We've got all the sharpening kit that you need, we've got Camellia oil applicators, we've got water stones, we've got Torment paste, some of the hill carving tool sharpening kits. So, um, is there any questions you've got on that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I like I like um, water stones because they're cheaper. They're constantly bringing up fresh grit. They say that diamond stones last forever. They they stay flat forever, but they will get progressively finer with use. Um, I just prefer the way that the water stone works. Really. Um, building up the slurry really helps put that polish on there. And I've always found that you end up with a much heavier burr with the diamond stone, and it's much more difficult to get rid of it. You end up spending more time stropping oil with the diamond stone, but it's totally personal preference, and also what what your budget is. I mean, you'll probably spend a lot more money on a diamond stone than you ever will on a on a water stone. But whatever 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 you use to get the results that you need. Really. What do you use as a sort of lightweight feel? Sharp, or you just take smaller wet stones? Yeah, smaller wet stones, really. Like, I've got quite a few of these that haven't survived uh, <laughs> trips to shows, right. and you can basically just saw them up into saw the bit that's chipped or cracked, saw it up with a, a, a hacksaw, yeah, uh, and then you can take it with you. And then you'd use a stone on the blade, presumably. Yeah, it's yeah. not ideal, and if you can, you can sometimes sort of wedge it. Like, if I'm really out and about, sometimes I'll even add it on the, the, the wing of the uh, Land Rover or. Yeah. If you're working in most woodlands, forestry commission woodlands, where they've been through and clear fouled a few areas, you often find a few stumps that are nice and flat. Um, but yeah, it is a slight disadvantage. More often than not, I'll tend to carry something like this um, in my inside pocket where my internal frame and my rucksack is. Yeah. They just sit in there, you can almost forget about them. They're really light. Um, you can sharpen your, your knife on there. You've got enough of a flat section and it gives you slightly more width. Yeah. Plus, if you lose these in the woods, they're biodegradable, uh, and you won't cry because you haven't lost the sort of forty quid little <laughs> pocket stone. Yet. Um, so that works for me, really. I've even, I think we did one article for the Bushcraft magazine, and it was uh, uh, not that it's even applicable anymore, really. It was a, a, a top-up uh, sharpener. So it was that you, you get the old top-up cards for your mobile phone. I'd stick sandpaper one side, 
and a bit of leather the other side and it'd fit in your wallet and you could sharpen your knife on that so yeah your old uh, points card from the garage you could make yourself a little pocket sharpener there you go you can turn it into a, into a pocket sharpener so yeah just use a bit of contact adhesive and stick a grade of sandpaper on there yeah. and it's just about rigid enough to, to, to and, it, and, and always be with you in your pocket so that, that kind of works. spot on Simon We've got Simon from SGW Knives go and check his channel out Great, great man, come over and say hello. Thank you. We're just having a look at his knives here. Awesome. On the gas. Absolutely. Quality work. The lime green line is in that one. Beautiful, mate. Um, hello. Where about are you? You're in New Zealand, aren't you? New Zealand. Just come over, to, come over to England. And... Mostly just cheap. <laughs> yeah. All right, mate. All right, pal. With joy. All right, mate. He's, he's with that. his girlfriend back at uh, Edil. Hi. Uh, he's back there. Yeah, I was watching you, mate, and I thought, um, a lot of restraint on there. You were coming in the forest where you normally go. Yeah. And you saw the nippers in there that had trashed it. Oh, well, I could have, did you know? Oh, it... I'm a police officer, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's going to knuckle them. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Brilliant, mate. Cheers. Thank you. I've got a one-off, I've never ever been made, the one I've just been on. I've literally picked Where's the knife, yeah? Uh, Let's have a little look at this knife. Can I just uh, do a little video, darling? Go on, babe, take it out for us, sweetheart. Nice tight as well, Pep. Go and have a look. It's got good prices on. Go and check them out. How much? Awesome. Beautiful. It's a company called ARS that actually um, had the patent yep. and now I think it's expired and all the Japanese saw manufacturers use the same technique of impulse hardening to harden the teeth of the blade. And that's the so, same as the, the, the silky do the, silky, the same? Yeah, the yeah. silky do the same, Samurai do the same. So they've all got this impulse hardening which is where they last three times as longer. So this one's got a thicker blank which makes it more forgiving so if yep. it nips in the cut you can't over flex it. Right. But obviously you're dragging more steel through the wood. Yep. You've got a nice pistol grip handle there, you can yep. see that. So it's like an effortless hold of the saw. So slippy conditions, yep. you're not over gripping the saw. So when it comes to making the cut, works on the pull stroke. Sorry, that one's very neat. Letting the saw do the work. Yep. Do, do that no again problem. for us, maybe. Yeah, sure. Same sort of. Hi. Yeah. Now this one here. It's got a bit of fancy technology in it. Yep. Not only has it got the rake of teeth, but the teeth are set in such a way that at any point along the curve of the saw, mm -hmm. the tooth is hitting the wood as if it's a straight saw. Right. And this is a patent that Samurai have got on the saws, and it's exclusive to Samurai. No one else in the world has this patent. So basically what it means is, with the curve of the saw, as you draw back, it gets pulled into the wood. Right. So if you overwork the saw, if you put too much pressure on it, it jams. Right. So you've just got to get it just right, and then it's as close as you'll get so to is it an awk is it, is it awkward to use then? No. No, no. once you're familiar with it. Ah, I see what you... Oh, my bit wood's a bit short there. See, that would do my nutting. Yeah. That would do me head in that, mate. So, I, I think it's because that was a bit short for him, man. Do you think? I do. Okay. Yeah, it passes up. I'd end up, I'd end up cutting myself or something, you know, I'd pull him. So this is a piece of dead, dead oak. Yeah. So no yep. problem at all. So if you let the saw do the work, you don't right, that's a lot better. pressure on. That's, aye, that's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's because the piece of wood is wobbling yeah. around. If you let the saw do the work, you don't have to put much pressure on it at all, and it actually gets drawn into the wood. Right. Can I get a shot of it? Yeah, of course you can. There you go. It's effortless, isn't it, guys? Yeah. yeah. I like that. It's like a pistol grip, man. Yeah, yeah.
Try with a big one, Gus. Oh. You can feel it. It does, like we say, it's cut cinnamon. I mean, this is a piece of dead oak as well, so it's quite a hard cut. Yeah. So you have to tie a bit more downward pressure on that, but because you've got the thicker saw blank, yep. it's a lot more forgiving if it does nip, you're not going to overflex that saw. Is it all right, guys, was it? Yeah. It'd be hard to tell the difference. Would it? Aye. Yeah, would I? Yeah. And what's the, what was the price on them ones? Those are £20 at the show, they're normally £32, but they're £20 at the show. It's not bad. Did you? £29. Yeah. There you go. Guys, he's going to buy his one, aren't you, guys? You could buy one of these and a spare blade for £30 off me today. So I'm doing the spare blades at £10 at the show price, they're normally £18 delivered. So for the price of a spare blade, you could have a saw and a spare blade. Or have a saw and save yourself a tenner from just a spare blade. Just have a shot of that for a bit and sell my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, we don't have to have, you've got to go through everything mm -hmm. and have them all later. Because we cut some through some cunny old chunks, you know, with them yeah, silkies. Oh, yeah. Like logs like this. Yeah. With them. And yeah. You know, after it, but you do get your just fatigue, isn't it? Oh, of course you do. Of course you well, do. The uh, good thing about this is the handle design as well is the fact that you've got this grip, so you're not over gripping. So mm -hmm. you're not using, you know, these muscles. Pull much. Yeah. They'll not pull much, will it? Oh, she'll pull. She'll bite her. She'll bite her. Uh, she'll nip. Aye. She's not happy. Otherwise, she'll give you licks. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. He's got them as well, haven't you? Oh, you take, oh, that oh, Phil's thing is, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got Ferris as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two. She's probably yeah. scared of your kilt, guys. <laughs> What's hanging underneath it? What's underneath Hello. I'll look in there. Didn't bite me. Do you like that? I know, I like a few There you go, Archie. I've been watching things all the time. She wants in, doesn't she? Don't shout that loud for her. I have killed the white ones now. Yeah, pink eyes. Pink eyes. No, it's not towel surfing, you ever. <laughs> no, she's a rescue. Oh, jeez, that was How'd you get your drink? No, I've had a two and a half years now. Mint. Well, that's the end of the bushcraft show. Back to Edale. Back to Edale.
Take these walls down